let's start from the beginning. First thing you're going to do is roll initiative when your dungeon master requests that you do so. All you got to do is click on your token and press this sword and shield button. If you hover over it, it should say toggle combat state. This will bring you onto the initiative tracker. I'm using Combat Carousel as a module, so you'll see that all of the tokens are up here. Next, you go to your token and you click the, the dice button. So if you, for example, if you were Merrick, you would click that button and you'd roll initiative. As the Dungeon Master, I would roll all the NPCs. You can see here are the players, so they would each individually click their dice. So you go one, two, three, and four. The initiative will be rolled over here. Next, after that's done, then the Dungeon Master will click Begin Combat, and that will bring you to the first person. Now, it's the poacher's first turn. The poacher is first going to target someone. So let's say the poacher decides to equip his longbow. So you simply click this dot here, and that will equip your longbow. It brings it up here in the actions. I'm going to target someone by hovering over them pressing T, that will target them. Next I can select if they have cover or not. Let's say they have half cover. Let's say Acra has half cover. That'll give him an AC bonus. Next I click this button for attack. If I had reactions it would be here. If I had spells it would be here as well. And here are the other actions I could do. Disengage, dodge. I could use a feature, multi-attack. And I'm going to use that to attack twice. Here it is. Long row one. After you're done, click the enter button. That next the bandit's gonna go up. Let's say the bandit decides to back off, target the wizard, equip his light crossbow, fire off the bolt. See how easy and quick that was? And there's a little animation as well. It's awesome. After he's done, Merrick's gonna activate his turn. Uh let's say that he activates. He doesn't activate any of his spells, but you see this rage, you see this frenzy, you see there's a free action, reckless. But let's say he doesn't do any of that. He decides just to go over here, target this guy, and he attacks once. And if you ever are curious, you know, when I open up your character sheet, you just click the suitcase button. It brings up your character sheet. So I'm curious whether or not I have extra attack, and I do. That means I get to attack one more time. It hits. Nice, and he's dead. At that, I'm going to do my turn, Randall's turn. You can see that he also has items if you want to use something like a potion of healing, a torch. It's all there. You can use second wind. You can use all of these abilities. But in this case, we're not going to do that. We're just going to attack. And he has extra attack because he's a fighter. To done and turn. Let's take a look at our Krusk, our paladin. So he has a lot. He has divine. He has sacred weapon. He has lay on hands, divine sense. He has his spells as well. You can activate these by targeting people and, for example, doing cure wounds. Um, let's say he does cure wounds on Acro. So let's see what happens here. So you click the cure wounds button after you've targeted him. You consume the spell. You're rolling to heal, and it automatically heals. And there's a little healing thing as well. It's awesome. And turn. Now let's the wizard, right? Wizard has a ton of options. Look at that. Cantrips, first level spells, second level spells, third level spells. I recommend you test all of these before you go into your first combat encounter. But let's say that he decides to do mage armor. So just click the mage armor ability. And uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. And there it is. He has that little shield over him, which is cool. Uh, now we're going to have that person with a pitchfork. Let's say he goes and stabs Randall. Ah, he misses. Bandit Captain's going to go up. He uses his multi attack. Uh, and it's two scimitar attacks. So one and then two. And then you have one dagger afterwards. Ooh. Looks like there was like a double attack there, but only one went through. 
He also has a feature, which is parry, but we can't use that because it's a reaction. Next, we have Acra, our cleric. So let's say that he decides to cast a spell. What kind of spell am I looking at here? Hmm, Guidance, I could do. Cure Wounds, I already did. Let's try Guiding Bolt. That sounds pretty cool. We'll target this Enforcer. We'll fire off a Guiding Bolt. Hits him, right? Boom, look at that. We found, found that Guiding Bolt. End turn. Now it's the poacher's turn. So you just kind of repeat this process over and over again. You know, press T. Now let's say you have advantage on an attack somehow. Well now, what you do is, you have to hold down the Alt key when you have advantage. So let's say I'm targeting Acura again. When I click the longbow button, I hold down Alt, and that automatically gives me advantage. See, it rolled with advantage. Now let's say that I decide I have disadvantage. Well, now you hold down the control key. The control key, right? Hold that down when you press the attack. Oh, that one missed. And so now you know how to do a debt advantage and disadvantage. Now let's say that you decide to, you know, swap weapons. You go over here. You know, you can always use this to swap the weapons that are on your dashboard here. But if you had another weapon, you could equip it. So for example, if you were, say, Krusk, you go over here, you open this up, and you decide, hey, I need to swap some weapons. Well, you can go and you can just equip the javelin if you want. Equip it, dis unequip it. So there's different ways to, to change your weapons. And let's say that you decide to add weapons over here to your toolbar. Well, you can just drag and drop it. See how I drag and drop that javelin, and now the javelin shows up? It's pretty cool, right? And if you ever want to delete, you just drag it down here and into the trash can. So, that's how you do it. Folks, I hope you've learned a little bit from this combat tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions.